All right, David. First big video tomorrow morning. Dave, the life of lift operator. Got it. Got to look sharp. This uh, this isn't gonna do it for the vid. All right. Bringing out the weapon. Hey guys, welcome to Day in the Life of a Lift Operator. I'm David and I'm a lift operator here at Copper Mountain. Right now, I'm already dressed and on the way to work. So, here you are, see my day. Hey, what's up guys? We're here at Pitchfork, we're on the five day crew lead. And this is what we do every day. So I started the lift. As you see, we got our lift speeds and everything. Then I'm gonna turn it to 100% fast. So we can do our stopping distance. So just wait for that speedometer to go up. And then I hit stop. Give me the stopping distance. It is 19 for normal. Sweet. So that was just an example of one of these safeties I do every morning just for ease of work. I'm going to put this on time lapse. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. All right, see you guys later. Peace. All right, guys, so I just did my normal stopping distance. And once he gets up there, we're going to do the other stops for him and my e-stop distance. Then I'll go show you guys pumping the brake. And what we're also doing this morning is we're putting snow on the ramp. So we're doing that too. Uh, my two-day crew lead, Zach's looking at me all funny. He has no idea I'm making a video right now. Uh, well, let's capture him in the act. What's going on? What's up? Doing a day in the life of a lift up. You want to say something? Sure. What do you think about being a lift up? Um, it's pretty chill. You just kind of get in, get snow on the ramp, test all your stops. All right, guys, so we've done all of our top and bottom stops. The next thing we have to do at Pitchfork is go up to the motor room and pump the brake. I believe we're the only actual lift and we're fixed grip lift that you have to pump the brake up on the mountain. So I'm going to show you guys that. See if I can climb up this ladder. Here's our motor room, everything in here. There's our brake, which I'm a pump. All right, next part is uh, Zach's been doing the ramp work, but might need some help. Um, so I'm gonna go help wait, wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. Why, don't gonna... tape, why don't I tape you? Hit no, 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 I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a time lapse. So I'm just, gonna tape, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna time lapse. Doing everything? No, I'm gonna I'm time lapse. We're both gonna do it. I'm gonna time lapse with both Deal. doing this work. Okay, <laughs> see you guys. Hey guys, so it is spring skiing, it is April, which means our snow is really icy, really um, hard, not easy to make a ramp with. So this is actually gonna take a bit longer than I thought, so I'm just gonna show you guys our final product. Here's where we're at right now. Still working, still working. And as you can see, 
It is definitely spring. All right, see you guys. All right, so mechanic came, came by. We talked to him for a bit. Everything's good, and uh, we just finished the ramp. So here you go. Spring skiing, what do you expect? But here we are, and uh, now we're just gonna chill for a little bit until uh, public shows up. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm out here on my lunch break right now. I got the 10 a.m. lunch. As the five-day crew lead, I tend to just take whatever lunch nobody wants, which happens to be the early one most of the time. So I'm out here in Center Village, just gonna give you guys a sneak peek of what spring skiing looks like. It looks like absolutely no one on the entire mountain. I think I just heard that there's only 200 people on our mountain right now, which we'd usually have thousands. So that's pretty crazy. Um, but this is Copper Center Village. Here's a quick look. Very nice, I love it. So while we're here just on my lunch break, some quick things you should know about lift tops is that it's a great job, I love it. It's all physical on your feet, so it's nice to um, get a little exercise in throughout the day. And then on top of that, while the pay is, is, is gonna be pretty, pretty small, pretty minimum wage, the benefits are actually pretty great. Um, you get free skiing at the mountain you work at, you also get free skiing for nearly every other mountain in Colorado actually. Hey, what's up guys? So today has been really slow, um, just because it's the end of the season and uh, where it's about 3.45 now. We close at four-ish, four or four or five. So I'm going to take the snow, the remaining snow off this ramp because we don't want it to ice overnight. And then my friend Ethan over there working with me, he is going to rake those outside lanes. And then once we close, we rake the inside lanes and usually if it's snowing, we'll take the snow off these wooden panels. Um, that's about it. And then when we close, I'm writing down some numbers such as this hour meter mark right here. And then I shut the lift off right over there. I'll walk up to that motor room and I will close the doors over there. Hey, what's up guys? So another part of lift ops is the locker room. So I'm gonna show you. This is where we store all our skis and stuff that you're gonna need if you're going to a lift higher up on the mountain. Thankfully, since I work Pitchfork, which is at the base of the mountain, I don't need to grab my skis every morning, but this is where we store them. Over here, people will wax their boards and do things like that. This is our checkout sign. Swipe our passes to clock in. This is the general area. I've heard without COVID, it's usually more popping, but because of COVID, there's not much going on. These are all the lockers. People store their boots up here. There's my locker right here. It's great. 264. Here's where we store the tablets. And here is where all the supervisors' offices are. I'm not gonna go in there. And yeah, that's the locker room, guys. Got the inside scoop now. Peace.